Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and of course this is uh, day number three of using Microsoft Edge Chromium. Of course I do get tons of questions and people saying well what do you think, what do you think? So you know what, I've been using this as my main browser for the past three days. It actually works really really well and um, I've really been um, actually enjoying using it. Now I'm missing a few of the features that Edge has that I still would like to have here, but you know, overall it, it's fast, it works well, it didn't crash, it really has, uh, really is interesting. I uh, went to the update phase today, I checked for updates, and of course it updated from 75.0.121 to, to 75.0.124. If you are using the Canary build, you get an update pretty much every day. Now, yesterday they did skip a day, but <clears throat> maybe because it was brand new or something. So if you look at the uh, Edge update, make sure that you, uh, if you're in the Canary build, that you check regularly. Uh, yet, the, um, the um, browser itself works really, really well. And it's very, very interesting. Um, a lot of you have been asking once again where you can get the Edge Insider channels and what are the different channels. So uh, here's the thing: you got three channels from to choose from. One is the Canary channel, the one I am on with this machine. I've installed it on the Dev channel on another machine that I'm using, so that you can uh, I can actually have a once a week look. And uh, of course, soon because it's not there yet you'll have the possibility to actually have what is called the beta channel which will be updated every six weeks as you see here. Um, why did Microsoft and what do I think about the fact that it's moving to Chromium? I think it's a good idea honestly personally. I do understand the folks out there that say well you know it's like there's going to be a narrow band of really different browsers now because everybody's moving to the same basic Chromium engine. Uh, yeah, okay, I understand that and I do agree somewhat with the fact that when something is, you know, always like everything is based on the same thing. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is sad. But at the same time, I think for Microsoft Edge, maybe it's the best thing you can, uh, they can do, honestly, because it really is um, going to make the Edge browser much more compatible with whatever we have. Now, one of the things uh, that a lot of people ask, will you know, will I be using it? Well, I've been using Microsoft Edge before, so of course I could see myself totally using this new Microsoft Edge browser. No questions asked. Now, will this make Edge browser more popular? You know, it all depends. One of the interesting aspects of this new Chrome, Chromium Edge browser is the fact that Microsoft has a chance here to maybe uh, create a little dent with the browser in the market, especially on users of Chrome, because it has its own layer and there are some interesting aspects of this browser that are not available or will not be available in Chrome. Like um, if you have a touch screen, uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, use a pen and, and annotate and, and you know, uh, do uh, whatever you want on the page, which is very nice actually. Uh, of course, this is still missing. There's a lot of stuff missing right now, but slowly coming. Uh, somebody asked, uh, "Do uh, the um, you know set tabs aside feature um, exist?" It's still not there. Uh, this it's really really at the beginning of its construction here with Microsoft. So there's a lot of the edge features that are not in here right now. Um, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see, does it change anything? A lot of you have been saying, well, they should change that icon and maybe make the icon, um, you know, less edgy-like and more like something else. And yeah, but then again, it's Microsoft Edge and, you know, the icon of Edge is that. And, and, and I think that's the big thing here. They want to use the same icon to say it's the same kind of, it's Edge browser. But um, yeah, maybe they should. I don't know, but maybe they will. Who knows? Right now, they've kept the same icon maybe they could change it at some time in pace in, in space so um, but I do like it it's a nice browser uh, once again the um, I'm, I'm posting the link to this page 
in the description below the video if you want to download the Edge Chromium. It's in beta, so remember this is unfinished software. You don't need to be an insider. A lot of people saying, well, you know, you need to be an insider. To no, you don't. This is installed on my main computer. You don't need to be an insider to test it. You can just install it. Will it mess up your other browsers? Absolutely not. Unless you decide to choose as the default, this browser will leave other browsers alone. Not to worry about that. So these are a few things that you know you should know. And finally, if you want to, of course, send feedback, little smiley face on the upper right corner, you can actually um, send feedback from here and um, you know give your comments of what you like, what you don't like on the uh, Microsoft Edge Chromium uh, version that is in uh, right now in test phase. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.